Hey there, folks. I'm Joshua Oral, the Mustang Prince, and welcome to Mustang Prince Oral Reports. Well, folks, we're going to join Princess Sophia for another new adventure. If you may recall, last month, I blogged the Mystic Isle special, where Sophia and Amber went to the Mystic Isles to stop an evil crystal master named Prisma from casting crystals on the other isles and draining all their magic. And I still stand by what I said in that blog, that this was a really thrilling adventure, even though I regret making the mistake of mispronouncing Azarine's name during the blog. But anyway, after Prisma was defeated and captured, Orion and the other protectors of the Mystic Isles invited Sophia to become the first protector of the Everrealm. After Sophia accepted, Orion told her that when the time is right, Sophia will start her training. And as you may have guessed, that time has finally arrived. Airing on television on June 30th, 2017, this is the Mystic Isles, the Princess and the Protector. Now let's get started. In this episode, Sophia meets her protector trainer, a feisty crystal fairy named Krista, and travels to the Isle of Forever Frost to begin her first assignment. Sophia is instructed to feather walk and tame a wild animal with a calm collar in order to earn her enchantlet. So, what are my thoughts on this episode? Well, to me it was a pretty good episode, though one character wasn't very good at first. But anyway, let's move on to Mustang Notes. Now, starting with this episode, the opening intro sequence has new scenes. Also, this is the first time since Once Upon a Princess that Sophia is called Sophia the First. Now, what are my thoughts on the animation? Well, like the Mystic Isles, the animation in this episode is great. And since it mostly takes place on the Isle of Forever Frost, it almost reminds me of the Alps or any other place that has snow all year round. However, there are a couple flaws here. Like, when Krista told Sophia that she couldn't use her amulet's powers to help her get her enchantlet. But after her amulet glowed for the first time, Krista didn't complain. Also, in the Mystic Isles, Sophia uses her amulet to summon three unicorns to get to the Isles. But here, Krista summons one for her. Also, there's this one scene that made me ask myself, how deep was all that snow while Sophia was being trained to feather walk? I guess we'll never know. Now, here's where we come to the moral of the episode which is, never judge people by their backgrounds. It makes me glad that I never do that, even with my friends. Now let's talk about the song featured in this episode, Tough Enough, sung by Krista, who doubts that Sophia is tough enough to commit to protector training, and Sophia, who asserts that she is. To me, this is another catchy song, and it has a nice beat and rhythm to it, However, when Krista sings it, it makes me want to cross my arms in front of her for how she judges Sophia. But when Sophia sings it, I smile and root for her. Now let's talk about the protectors of the Mystic Isles, since they're here and all. Now as we all know, these guys are responsible with keeping the Isles safe from anyone who plans to threaten them, and to keep anyone safe from danger. We already know Orion and Vega since they were the ones who invited Sophia to become a protector. In this episode, we are introduced to three protectors, like a giant, an elf, and a satyr. In my opinion, these guys are what I like to call the Avengers of this show. Or heck, even the Justice League of the show. I also like that they're rooting for Sophia while she is being trained. 
Next we come to the most important object for the protectors, the enchantlet. For those who don't know what they are, an enchantlet is a magical bracelet that is used to assist the protectors in keeping the isles safe from danger. For protectors in training, they have to find one located in the Isle of Forever Frost in the cave of the Arctic Condors. A trainee cannot simply just take one, for the enchantlet must choose its wearer. Pretty similar to the wands in the Harry Potter franchise, or the keyblades in the Kingdom Hearts franchise. Enchantlets differ depending on the protector, but all enchantlets have a similar wing-like design and magical abilities. What's interesting about these enchantlets is that they can be used as a lasso or a communicator. Anyway, let's talk about the characters and their voice actors now. Our main character and future protector of the Ever Realm, Princess Sophia, is once again voiced by Ariel Winter. Best known from Modern Family, Bambi 2, Speed Racer, Mr. Peabody and Sherman, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, and Smurfs the Lost Village. In this episode, Sophia's first assignment is to get her own enchantlet on the Isle of Forever Frost by sundown, or she cannot be a protector. Her training may have been difficult because of her trainer being so judgmental and discouraging, but still, Sophia gets through this test with her toughness, superb athletic prowess, and with the strength of her heart. Sophia's trainer, Krista, is voiced by Journey Smollett Bell. Known for her role as Jess Merriweather on the Emmy Award-winning TV series, Friday Night Lights. Now, don't let her name confuse you with the main heroine from Ferngully The Last Rainforest. Anyway, in my opinion, even though Krista is a great protector and I like her New York accent, Krista doesn't start out too great. While she is a bit feisty, she's also judgmental, dismissive, rude, and cocky, and she judges people based on their appearances. Like when she thinks that Sophia is nothing but a spoiled princess. But she does become better after Sophia tells Krista off by being prejudiced against her and for being such a poor trainer. Next we come to a baranga, which happens to be an important part of Sophia's task to get her enchantlet. Krista uses this creature in order to teach Sophia about beast wrangling. To me, this Baranga looks like a saber-toothed tiger with fire breath, even though it's said to be a kitten. Sophia had to face the Baranga twice in this episode. The first time didn't go successful due to Krista using her enchantlet to pull Sophia away, causing it to escape. And then the second time, when Sophia had to rescue Krista in the Arctic Condor's cave by using her amulet's light to distract it, and finally putting the calm collar around its neck. Next we have the two Arctic Condors, Hale and Windy, voiced by John DiMaggio. Best known as Dr. Draken from Kim Possible, and as Waka and Kamari from Final Fantasy X and X-2. And April Winchell, who I know as Mickey Mouse's friend, Clarabelle Cow. In my opinion, since these two are basically polar bears with wings, they almost remind me of the Kali does from the Oz books. Now, Hale and Wendy are not antagonists, but it's their job to make sure that no one can get past them easily. However, in my opinion, it was scary when they almost pushed Sophia off the mountain using their wings. 
Finally, we come to Hale and Wendy's son, Stormy, voiced by child actor Henry Kaufman. Now, Stormy doesn't have a big part in this episode, but all I can say about this little Arctic Condor is that when he wandered into the cave, he got frightened by the Baranga. That is, until Sophia rescued him. And now, let's move on to my final words. Overall, The Mystic Isles, The Princess and the Protector is good, but not as good as the previous special. There are a few flaws in it, like Sophia's use of her amulet and Krista not being a good trainer, but the animation is good, and the moral of not being judgmental towards others' background is good too. The Baranga and the Anticondors may be scary, but they're awesome characters. And now that Sophia has her enchantlet, I can tell she's going to be a great protector in the future. I give this episode a 71% out of 100. Now, how much time do I have left until I head for San Francisco? Hmm. Well, it looks like I have time for one more blog before I go. But, what should I do? I know! Why don't I take a look at another movie based on a cartoon show that I loved to watch when I was young? But unlike Teen Titans, this one is kinda cutesy, but awesome at the same time. Mustang Power. Thank you.